The next question is among the following the incorrect statement regarding the collision theory of chemical reactions is now as per the collision theory uh, the rate of the the reactants can only react to form the product uh, when the molecules of reactant undergo a collision and when they collide uh, if they collide in a proper orientation with sufficient energy then only they can overcome the energy barrier and uh, form the product so if you have a collision which is having sufficient energy but it is not in a proper orientation then uh, it won't result in the formation of product similarly if you have a collision in which there is proper orientation but they don't have enough energy it again won't result in the formation of product so not all the collisions taking place per second which is called collision frequency are resulting into the formation of product only those collisions which have both enough energy and proper orientation will result in the formation of uh, product so if z is the total collision frequency the number of collision taking place per unit time and p is that steric factor which takes into account the orientation of the particle and f is the factor that uh, is the fraction of the particles having uh, enough energy sufficient energy to overcome the energy barriers and this will determine the rate of the reaction so if you read the statement uh, a statement the reactant molecules are assumed to be hard sphere that is true uh, this theory assumes that uh, the collision uh, between uh, the, the particles are treated as hard sphere so when they collide uh, there is no deformation collision frequency between reactants is one of the factors that determines the rate of the reaction true the collision frequency is the number of collision taking place per unit time but not all the collisions are going to uh, result in the formation of product out of the total collisions this is the fraction that uh, accounts for the orientation this is the factor uh, fraction accounts for the energy the steric factor takes into account the relative orientation of the reactant molecules during collision exactly uh, true so a b c all the three statements are true d the theory takes into account the structural aspects of the molecules during collision no the theory treats all the molecules as spherical in nature so this uh, you know you can say as one of the drawbacks of this theory that it does not account this does not take uh, the shape of the molecules into account it treats them as hard sphere so the correct answer for this question would be option d as this is the only incorrect statement regarding collision theory.